Lael replied, Regardless, issuing stocks carries risks. I am not borrowing from Madame Lang. I will definitely repay both the capital and the interest when the time comes. I'm not worried that you won't repay. I just don't understand. If there's such a good business opportunity, why didn't you inform me? Do I not have the qualifications? Both Lai Ao and his son hurriedly waved their hands. Madam Lang, that's not what we meant. Madam Lang, we were planning to inform you once everything was ready. It's not too late for you to buy the stocks now. We have prepared 30% of the shares for you. We've been cooperating for so long. You have to trust us. Old man, what kind of person are you that I don't know? Do you want me to trust you? Then eat everything in the hot pot. Leave nothing behind. Lai Ding hesitated. Is that so? You don't want to eat? Aya, of course not. I'll eat right away. With that, the old man took a spoonful of food, inside which contained the severed hand of the man from earlier. Wang Bo felt disgusted looking at Lai Ding. You follow orders like that. This father and son really dare not defy her. Hmm, not a bad taste, just not fully cooked yet. All right, I was just kidding. You don't need to rush to repay the money you borrowed. Consider it as the money I used to buy the stocks. No problem. When I return, I'll make sure they dilute the stocks by more than 30%. Lai Ao cursed inwardly. There will be a day when I reign supreme over her. Wang Bo opened his mouth in disbelief. What's this joke? I haven't agreed to anything yet. Madam Lang, what makes you think you can just become a shareholder? On what grounds? As far as I can see, you can only hold 5% of the shares at most, and you certainly can't take any from my portion. Lai El exclaimed in shock. Wang Bo, have you lost your mind? How dare you speak like that to Madam Lang? She doesn't know anything, doesn't understand the rules. Don't bother reasoning with him. Let's step outside for a moment. I have something to discuss with this young man. The father and son exchanged silent nods before exiting. Wang Bo grinned smugly. Just as well, I also have something to discuss with you. Young man, quite gutsy you are. Didn't they tell you who I am? If I were scared, I wouldn't have shown up. I heard Miss Lai is quite mysterious too. Any connection with my master? Madam Lane didn't respond but called out a name. Hai Gu. Hai Gu immediately rushed forward his speed so fast that Wang Bo couldn't react in time. With a thud, Hai Gu kicked Wang Bo, sending him crashing into the wall. He struggled to his feet, trembling. That was a ruthless kick. Lucky I have some backup virus. But it still hurts. Feels like every organ is shattered. A normal person would've been knocked out cold with that kick. Not only did he break the chair, but there's also a crack in the wall. Hai Gu, this is no ordinary stuff. Absolutely a master among masters though both are martial arts. The girl from the end of the world can't compare. Madame Lang spoke up. Young man, Hai Gu is my strongest subordinate in the TNXE group. If you can defeat him, then you have the right to ask me. Madam, this young lad has some courage. Withstanding one of my heart-piercing strikes, let's see his true strength to determine if he's worthy to confront me. Wang Bo poised himself. Just come at me. Hai Gu lunged forward. Wang Bo raised his hand to block, but Hai Gu swiftly kicked with his other foot. Wang Bo struggled to resist. God think fast, or I'll be too passive. Hai Gu landed on the ground, launching a barrage of consecutive heart-piercing strikes. Wang Bo fought hard to defend. Too fast, just defending drains a lot of energy. I won't have any strength left for counterattacks. Suddenly, Hai Gu spun around. Wang Bo widened his eyes. No extension of distance, just spinning in place. What technique is this? Without giving Wang Bo much time to ponder, Hai Gu unleashed a powerful strike straight to Wang Bo's chest. Madam Lang snorted, thought you were something. Turns out you're just a paper tiger, kid. It's over. As Hai Gu turned his head to finish his sentence, his eyes widened. Wang Bo grabbed his legs firmly with both hands. You've underestimated me. Any attack in front of Yin Yang boxing, is like drops of water in the ocean. Madam Lang's face lit up with interest. Yin Yang boxing. He truly is the disciple of the old master. Wang Bo concentrated his energy into the palm of his hand. Using the Tai Chi's dual creation technique, he thrust forward. Hai Gu spun around and was thrown backward. This technique, indeed a student of Master Lai. Madam Lang, there's no need to continue. You've troubled him enough. Hai Gu, young man, 
Those whom the old master regards highly are few. You're the second one. It seems he really favors you. You call him the old master. So you are. I'm his daughter. Upon hearing she was his master's daughter, Wang Bo's expression became incredibly distinctive. What that can't be. Ha ha ha. I mean I see you as if you were twenty. Thought you were a granddaughter. Ha ha. Hi goo. This kid here says I look like I'm just over twenty little brat. Madam Lang is forty-six. Forty-six. Not over twenty years older than me. Doesn't look like it at all. Madam Lang gave Hai Gu a meaningful look. Hai Gu, do you think that's polite? I apologize, Madam Lang, I shouldn't have mentioned her age. With that, he lifted the hot pot and walked away. Since everyone knows each other, there's no need to hide anymore. Madam Lang is the master's daughter, so I'll call her senior sister then. I've never heard the master mention having a daughter. I thought he was alone. Don't know if it's true or false. Better to be cautious. Madam Lang took a sip of tea and said, It's all right, you can call me whatever you like. Perhaps you know what kind of people they are. Whether you could cooperate with them. Or you're just like them. Or you have other intentions. As long as you can help me make money. I don't care. Wang Bo smirked inwardly. Trying to trap me, huh? Well, I'll speak the truth and some falsehoods. In this city, more than half of the people are depending directly or indirectly on the wages I distribute to survive. As long as you can make money for me. Whoever you are, I'll take it all. But this bowl of soup, I can't share with you. Wang Bo sensed the strong aura of this Madame Lang. This is the aura of a big shot in the underworld. So are you challenging me? Not challenging, just reminding. I have my eyes on these two. So if you trust me, don't get involved. If you want to deal with them, then their debt to me shouldn't disappear, right? The money you lend them, I'll pay back with triple interest later. But if you insist on buying stocks now, It'll be a big loss. Ha, huh? this little brat indeed has other intentions. Just trust me, and I'll replace them as a better cooperative partner. If not, I'll leave first. As Wang Bo was about to leave, Madam Lang hurriedly called out, Senior sister, I feel like I've been quite clear already. Unless you still want. You've misunderstood. It's just that it's been a while since I've seen the old master. So I want. Oh, you want to know about our master's affairs. Outside the room, Lai El paced anxiously. Kid, can't you stop pacing back and forth? You're making me dizzy. Old man, were you crazy just now? Giving that old lady 30% of the shares? Ha ha, you're still too young. With her joining in, we don't have to worry about that Wang Bo's tricks anymore. Our cooperation is solid. I'll quickly get rid of Wang Bo before we go public. This time, giving out 30% was too much. What if I defeat Wang Bo? Won't we still be under that old lady's thumb? Letting her join is just a show. After we go public and make a profit, she'll actively spread negative news about the company, inflate our valuation, wait for the stocks to drop, and we'll lose all the money she lent us. I'll have to pay a hefty price. I've already contacted the international black gang behind her back. Once she loses her capital circle, we can replace her as the holder of underground funds. So, do you think this continuous strategy is okay? Lei El couldn't help but admire his father. Old man. Luckily we have you. Always so cunning, accurate, and brilliant like that. Lucky you have you. Huh. You've endured enough of that old hag. Now it's time to manipulate her. To make her a real female dog. After what seemed like a while, the door opened. And the two Li Eos turned to look back. Oh, that guy's coming out. As Wang Bo emerged, Li Eo couldn't wait to ask. Young Master Bo, did Madame Lang give you a hard time? No. We had a pleasant conversation. She even left her contact information. Said she'd invite me for a meal in a few days. Lai El was puzzled. How could it be? What schemes does that kid have with that woman? Young Master Bo, they talked for so long. What was it about in the end? They discussed everything. But mainly about the shared capital. After careful consideration, I've decided to back out, not taking any shares. Wang Bo smirked. Look at their faces. They can't hide anything anymore. They probably wished I was torn apart by my senior sister already. All right, I have other matters to attend to. Wait until the market opens tomorrow. I'll find you. Ha, they probably couldn't even think straight. Madam Lang is my senior sister. This time is fun. Son, did I mishear? Did he say Madam Lang won't share capital anymore? What's going on? Did she figure out your continuous strategy? Or is Wang Bo playing some tricks? After leaving Hot Pot City, Wang Bo went to his master's house. As soon as I entered, 
Master said that I've been looking for him quite often lately, and practicing martial arts can't be rushed. I almost forgot. Seven days in the seventh realm are only equivalent to one day here. This time, besides learning martial arts from Master, I also need confirmation. Is that Madame Lang really Master's daughter? Only when we were talking did I find out that Master originally had three sons and one daughter. The eldest son sacrificed himself. While protecting an important figure of the country, the second son went missing during a mission, his fate unknown, and the youngest son was sent abroad for a secret mission. That's why Master is alone here. It turns out that Master's whole family has contributed so much to the country, truly patriotic. So I might still have a senior sister. Why didn't Master mention her? At the mention of his daughter, Lai Zhengu set down his bowl and said, I'm full, right Master? Did I say something wrong? Master, you haven't thought about this person for a long time, so don't mention her again in the future. Finish eating and then go to the training room. Yes, Master. Looking at Master's expression, there might be some unresolved issues with his daughter. Could it be a scenario of an old stubborn father living with his unruly daughter? I don't have a daughter like her. Get out of here. After that, I also dared not mention Madame Leng again, but consulted with Master on some yin-yang boxing techniques. Wen King summoned several top international hackers through various channels, gathering evidence of the crimes committed by the father and son, Lai Ao, as well as sensitive documents causing the stock prices to plummet. Meanwhile, Lai Ping and Hongfei were in charge of contacting entertainment districts and the modeling agencies under their control to see if they could find any vulnerabilities there. Rest assured, on the opening day, we will arrange the best models for everyone. Lai Ping chuckled and asked, So knew I have a chance to get acquainted with the models first. As for Wang Bo, it was time to return to the apocalypse. Two days have passed, and it's already been 14 days in the apocalypse. Xiao Mo, upgrade the system before we return. All right, I'll upgrade it now, Xiao Mo replied. Congratulations to the player for spending 50,000 gold coins and completing the system upgrade. The system space has increased by 330 square meters, unlocking the system exchange function. The system store has updated with four types of items available for purchase. Random transportation tools, where you can get one random transportation tool for 500 gold coins. Saint's armor, which, when worn for 30 seconds, can bypass all attacks worth 1,000 gold coins. Invisible perfume, which allows the user to become invisible for 5 minutes after smelling it but can only be used once every 12 hours, priced at 500 gold coins, and Forbidden Fruit, which allows the eater to use system props like players, priced at 5,000 gold coins. Shell Mo, what is the function of this exchange system? Shell Mo replied, This exchange system allows players to use gold and other items to exchange for money, and vice versa. It's quite handy. This means I won't have to look for places to exchange gold in the future. The random transportation tool seems like a trap. Even a bicycle counts as a transportation tool. As for the Saint's armor, it's not as invincible as the game's legendary items. But I could buy a few sets for Xiao Yu and her friends to wear. And about this invisible perfume, it's indeed a valuable item. With such a large bottle, you can use it freely. Players shouldn't overlook the forbidden fruit. Buying one for Xiao Yu and her friends to eat might make them as strong as you. Wang Bo looks suspiciously at Xiao Mo. You're trying to harm my family by persuading me to buy expensive stuff. You're even better at promoting than that handsome guy, man. Xiao Mo nervously wiped his sweat, hastily explaining, Players, what are you afraid of? We still have over 25,000 gold coins left, enough to buy five of them. Wang Bo fell into contemplation. If it can help them become stronger, even when I'm not around, they can still protect everyone. Does this forbidden fruit have any side effects? Xiao Mo immediately assured, absolutely not. Then buy two of them now. Congratulations to the player for spending 10,000 gold coins to buy two forbidden fruits. Now you've had 15,000 gold coins left. All right, let's go back to the apocalypse now. Two days in reality, and it's been 14 days in the apocalypse. I wonder if everyone is living happily. Wang Bo stepped out and announced, Hey everyone, I'm back. The others waved back at Wang Bo with smiles. Mio Ru Yu said, perfect timing. We're just having hot pot. Would you mind fetching another set of utensils for yourself? Noticing that Xiao Yu and Mio Ru Yu weren't as excited as usual, Wang Bo couldn't figure out why. Feels a bit strange. I thought they would miss me a lot. 
but they seem less enthusiastic than Zhao Bao and Lai. Listening to Miao Mio's account of how most of the base had moved to the gathering point and his absence, Sai Ling and Zhao Xiang had also arrived. Sai Ling had been awarded a Medal of Honor for his heroic actions in battle, while Zhao Xiang had been promoted to squad leader. They had both visited the area where Xiao Yu and her group lived. Since last time, I don't know how to face her anymore, Zhao Xiang said. Wang Bo sat thoughtfully on the bed and turned to Miao Ru Yu. Miao Miao, did Zhao Xiang ask about me when he came? No, she just came to see how we were doing, Miao Ru Yu replied. Why? Is it important if she asked about you? No, I'm just worried they might have something to discuss with me, Wang Bo hastily replied. Xiao Yu walked over and linked arms with Wang Bo. You're acting strange, Wang Bo. You even called the squad leader by his full name. Could it be that you and her? Wang Bo quickly interrupted. Ah, it's nothing. Friends can call each other by their names, right? But when I wasn't here, Zhang Sheng came looking for her. Zhang Sheng, ha. Huh? Did he return to the inventory team? Yes, the higher-ups sent him, saying they discovered a horde of zombies, a large number heading towards the Fuzhou gathering point. So it seems we're about to face another battle, ha. Huh? If it's really a zombie horde, that's fantastic. I need to kill zombies to level up my skills and abilities, so I'll go find them quickly. But before that, I have something for you all to see. It costs quite a bit to buy. Miao Ru Yu furrowed his brows in confusion. Isn't this just a regular apple? What's so rare about it? Don't underestimate it. Just by eating it, you can be like me, using the tools in the system. Hearing this, Shoyu's eyes lit up. What? Just by eating it, you can become a giant like you. That's amazing. Moreover, you can even assess my skills and learn powerful techniques immediately. That's truly miraculous. I want to try it too. Let's give it a shot. After the two finished eating, Wang Bo asked, How you feel? Xiao Yu dropped the apple and held her stomach. I feel cold, then hot, like I want to jump into the lake. Wait, it seems like I see something above our heads. Curiously, Xiao Yu asked, What's that? Do we have some kind of aura above our heads? Xiao Mo explained, Players, your spouses have displayed attribute items. Current attributes of Guan Xiaoyu. Strength 65, Agility 75, Stamina 70, Spirit 65. Wang Bo exclaimed, These are Xiaoyu's original attributes. They're quite high. Xiao Mo replied, That's right, because she's been in this world longer than you, so she's adapted to the lifestyle, and her attributes will be higher than yours. Current attributes of Miao Ru Yu, Strength 60, Agility 73, Stamina 80, Spirit 72. Miao Miao's strength and agility are lower than Xiao Yu's, but her stamina and spirit are higher. It shows Miao Miao's strong willpower, which is truly remarkable. This way, you can help them grow stronger quickly. Xiao Yu glanced at Miao Ru Yu, but I don't feel any different. What about you, Miao? You don't feel anything either. Wang Bo explained. The limitation of this tool is that you can't see your own attributes, nor can you purchase items yourself. However, I can use items on you, so I can see your growth as well. I bought 200 random skill books in advance for you to immediately enhance your skills. After using the random skills, the current attributes of both of you are Xiao Yu, Strength 65 plus 30, Agility 75 plus 21, Stamina 70 plus 35, Spirit 65 plus 14, Miao Ru Yu, Strength 60 plus 26, Agility 73 plus 32, Stamina 80 plus 17, Spirit 72 plus 25. Additionally, spending another 500 gold, proceed with 100 draws. Wine Bo pressed the switch vigorously. Bring out the super level martial arts. Indeed, this draw still trapped people, apart from gratitude and a few spicy coconut bullets. Only six skills were drawn. The six skills Wang Bo drew are Dragon Claw, Shadowless Kick, Moving Strike, Para Strike, Steps Like Shooting Stars, Eyes Like Those of a God. Fortunately, these can be coordinated with other martial arts. Wang Bo assigned Dragon Claw to Xiao Yu, which increases power according to level, and Para Strike, which can block any opponent's attack. Miao Ru Yu used Shadowless Kick to boost power by level and Moving Strike, which allows one move per day and can only be used once every 24 hours. 
Xiaoyu's strength is quite high, so as she learns Dragon Claw, her power can increase significantly. With Shadowless Kick, Mio Mio's agility will increase, making her both swift in attack and nimble in evasion. The skill steps like Shooting Stars can increase agility by 5 points with each upgrade. At the highest level, one step can cover a distance of 5 meters horizontally and 3 meters vertically, consuming 20 power points per step. This skill is even more powerful than Wang Bo's Skyline Axis, but it consumes more power and is suitable for quick escapes. Wang Bo didn't use this skill himself, but had Xiao Mo help him keep it for Da Zhu, who possesses clairvoyance. With training, Dodzdu can see through objects up to 10 meters thick. Although the effects of this skill may not be very significant, it's still worth keeping for personal study. Wang Bo immediately used his clairvoyance to observe Xiaoyu and Miao Ruyu. Miao, now you want to try Dragon Claw, and you also want to test how strong Shadowless Kick is. Noticing Xiaoyu wearing a pink bra today and Miao Ruyu dressed in black, Wang Bo amused himself. This skill doesn't seem to have much effect, quite ordinary really. Hold on, if combined with supervision, wouldn't it be fantastic? Ha 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 ha. Unaware that Wang Bo saw through her underwear, Xiaoyu said, Wang Bo, when shall we try the new skills? Earlier, Zhang Shang mentioned about some zombies approaching the gathering area, right? Let's go zombie hunting. Meanwhile, at the research headquarters, Long Cheng Gang and Zhao Xiang were present. Dr. Hua, how far are the zombies from us now? According to the latest information we received, they are about 60 kilometers away from us. Based on our observation earlier, they can only move about 10 kilometers per hour. We're confident they'll be within our attack range in about four hours. Dr. Zhu reminded, these zombies seem more aggressive than before, so don't be careless. You can rest assured, we're much stronger now. The main concern this time is that we've detected a zombie king among them it may not be easy to deal with. Longcheng Gang confidently declared, our soldiers are no pushovers either. If they want to advance to the gathering area, they must pass through a vulnerable spot. Our troops are already there. Just wait for our subordinates to bring back the Zombie King's blueprint. Outside the desolate terrain, the zombie army was passing through a mountain pass. Wang Bo, accompanied by Xiaoyu and Miao Ruyu, was already prepared. Wang Bo casually sat down, saying, no matter how you approach it, as long as you can kill them, it will enhance your skills and experience. Use the ammunition here liberally, no need to be stingy. So, don't hold back. Xiaoyu and Miao Ruyu aimed, and fired two missiles accurately. With a loud bang, the leading group of zombies was blown to pieces. They howled and then charged forward. Xiaoyu grabbed the machine gun and started shooting. She remarked, the number of casualties isn't too high. That makes it easier for them to break through. Wang Bo chuckled. You have to kill them with your own hands to gain experience. Xiaoyu, let's step up our game. We can't afford to be underestimated by him. Right, Miao Miao. Let him know our capabilities. At that moment, a large rock from the rear lines of zombies was hurled. It was aimed at Miao Ruyu and came crashing down. Miao Ruyu was still bewildered, not understanding what was happening. While Wang Bo rushed forward and shattered the rock, the pethet girl spoke. Indeed, larger than ordinary zombies, their appearance has changed, even resembling mutated animals, probably the zombie king, no doubt. At that moment, an animal-like zombie roared and charged. However, after a few steps, it was crushed by the zombie king. It yelled, get lost, this bunch is mine. Wang Bo smirked contemptuously, Mio Mio, Xiao Yu, it seems it doesn't consider us a threat at all. He looked up and noticed the camera silently recording this scene in the sky. Wang Bo spotted the camera and said, Thank you, Wang Bo. After observing the zombie king for a moment, Wang Bo remarked, This one doesn't seem too strong, but you still need to be cautious. It may hold some hidden skills. Wang Bo reassured, With you and Miao together, there shouldn't be any trouble. Xiao Yu, you lead the way. I'll find an opportunity to eliminate it. Xiao Yu smiled and replied, no problem. Then the two, one in front of the other, charged straight towards the zombie king. Wang Bo shouted loudly, Hey hey, remember to leave all the corpses for me. After an uncertain period of time, two military vehicles arrived at the mountain pass. A person in the convoy said, Hey, there's something up ahead. Let's get off and take a look. Dr. Huo, 
our tracking device lost the signal of the zombie horde. Just 30 minutes ago, we detected a large number, but upon rechecking, they've all disappeared. Dr. Huo pondered silently and asked, Could it be that our signal couldn't keep up with the speed of the zombies? Dr. Zhu disagreed. The tracking system was invented by our leader. It can't make mistakes. Aya, I'm just saying, it's nothing. My people have probably reached the dangerous mountain pass by now, about to confront them. Squad leader Liu entered the area and whispered to Zhao Xiong, Siling, our people have arrived, but according to the personnel on the scene, the zombie horde has been completely wiped out, not a single one left alive. Longcheng gang grew suspicious and uneasy. What? Is there still good news? Dr. Hua anxiously asked. So, did you find any zombie corpses? Zhao Xiong immediately speculated. Could it be that Weinbo has returned already? Afterward, the corpse of the zombie king was tossed out. Phew, bringing such a big one back here was no easy feat. Jai Chu and Yang chuckled. It's been tough for you three. Thankfully, with everyone's help, my research can proceed smoothly. Don't be polite. Eliminating zombies is my responsibility. It's just convenient for me to assist you in bringing back the corpse, nothing more. Without you risking your lives to deal with the zombie king, humanity's fate would have been in jeopardy. I could have helped you, but unfortunately, my abilities are still quite limited. Oh, what's this? Recently, my inventory team has been collecting valuable treasures and gold in the abandoned city near Fujo. We discovered a large amount of valuable treasure and gold in a city called Tian Tang City. We speculate that before the apocalypse, preparations were being made for a large-scale treasure exhibition there. This is evident from the large amounts of treasure and gold found in both the exhibition hall and the central bank there. While my inventory team was collecting those items, they encountered the previously undetected zombie king. This is the final video from the inventory team member responsible for the collection. The video played, and inside, a hurried voice came through. Quick, quick, contact headquarters. No, the signal's being jammed. Run, run, oh no, the way out is ahead. Not good, they're chasing us. Wang Bo saw the flying object inside and curiously asked, What's that? In the video, a person was being pulled up by those creatures, and those below immediately opened fire to rescue them. Be careful, don't shoot your teammates. Xiao Yu analyzed, at first glance, it looks like a tiny insect, but when they gather, they can tear humans apart. These are also zombies. Previously, they fought frogs and spiders. I wonder what they are this time. Keep watching, we've captured some unique aspects of these creatures. A distressed voice echoed. Forget about everything. Just run first, and figure it out later. Not good, they're catching up. On the screen, a large falling object appeared before the connection was lost. Mr. Jai, rewind the footage from earlier. This is the one that ambushed the inventory team. It seems quite large. This video was found by our team afterward. All members of that organization are missing. The scene left no useful clues. Because it was too dangerous, I ordered the inventory team to withdraw. Wang Bo saw Jia Chun Ying's approach as very accurate. These are not ordinary zombies. Normal people simply can't fight back, Wang Bo said. Whether these falling creatures resemble those spiders attacking the gathering area or not, that's hard to say. But the Spider Queen attacked the base to obtain your genes, so I don't know if these two are similar. Mio Ru, you listened, her face pale. Attack to obtain your genes. What does that mean? Why haven't I heard of this before? Jai Chu and Ying explained. The Spider Queen always wants to create the strongest creatures, so she's been trying every possible means to obtain Wang Bo's genes. Perhaps she only wants to extract blood or something with Wang Bo's DNA. Mio Ru Yu gasped before understanding Wang Bo's words. Wang Bo, if you want to go to Tian Tang City, I can provide materials for you. I don't need any material things, I just want to borrow someone from you. Oh, who did you say? Wang Bo then found Zhang Shen. Hey, it's been a while. Zhang Shen couldn't help but feel happy seeing Wang Bo. It's Wang Bo. Where have you been lately? I couldn't find you anywhere. I went to where you usually are, but you weren't there. Come on. Let's go, I have to treat you to a meal. Save the drinking for later after we get back. Drinking already. You want to go out again. Right, and this time, I'm inviting you to go with me. Would you agree? Without hesitation. Zhang Sheng immediately replied. Agreed. Whenever you're ready. 
Back at the mountain villa, Dodzu picked up the apple suspiciously and asked, Wang Bo, although you may look a bit eccentric, you're not foolish. Dazhu is not foolish. Has Wang Bo ever harmed you? This cost me 5,000 gold coins. Just by eating it, you can quickly learn techniques. It's truly miraculous. Dazhu always felt like Wang Bo was trying to deceive him. But if this is true, Chou Nan suddenly snatched the apple and exclaimed, Give it here. Dazhu felt uneasy. Hey Chou Nan, why are you taking things from Wang Bo from him? Dazhu doesn't believe Wang Bo so you can eat it and go find gold together. Mio Ru Yu walked over and pinched Xiao Nan's ear, lifting him up. You little rascal, give it back to the owner. You just don't want to go to school, that's all. Xiao Nan, caught with his intentions, hurriedly tried to cover up. It's unfair to me, I really want to help Wang Bo. Xiao Bao chimed in. We want to help Wang Bo like before. Xiao Bao, we're living in such a good place now much better than our previous wandering life. We should cherish this life and study well. If there's a chance in the future, I'll take you with me. All right, you still haven't finished your homework, so stop causing trouble here. At this moment, squad leader Liu and Zhao Xiong walked in and said, Wow, I didn't expect Long Siling to arrange such luxurious accommodations for you guys. Wang Bo, your old friend came looking for you and couldn't find you, huh? How did you two end up here? I've been wanting to fight you two for a while now. Zhao Xiang, why did you come looking for me? Zhao Xiang replied coldly, Don't misunderstand. We're here on a work assignment. So what's the job? Squad leader Liu stated his intention. Siling knows that you guys want to go to Tian Tang City, so she called us here to bring some important items back. Wang Bo was intrigued. Oh, that's Siling's order. Then it must be something very important. Squad leader Liu handed over the briefcase and said, We've prepared the documents. You can take a look. Wang Bo placed the briefcase on the table and opened it to inspect electronic map of Tian Tang Si, but the company already provided me with one. What's this? Siling explained that it was a communication device, opening another item with which we could collect what we needed. It's a storage device containing many post-apocalyptic strategic plans, highly confidential documents. Is that so? No problem, I'll take it. Because this matter is related to highly classified documents, both I and the former captain will accompany you. You two also want to come along, right? Why? Don't you trust us? Squad leader Liu hesitated, saying, No, no, that's not what I meant. Zhao Qiang explained, This is Siling's idea. That area has been abandoned for a long time. It's too dangerous for just a few people to go. We want to help. Mia Ru Yu turned to ask for Wang Bo's opinion. If many people go, both you and Xiao Yu wouldn't have to intervene. Wang Bo was unsure how to respond, and Xiao Yu intervened. Actually, having a few extra people would be fine for us. Wang Bo's capabilities, both of us are aware. I know Wang Bo is strong, but this is an order from above. We're also in a tough spot. Actually, having a few more people along would make completing the mission easier. Am I right? team. Suddenly, Wang Bo stared at himself intently. Zhao Xiong blushed and couldn't face him. Wang Bo is right, we're seasoned veterans with plenty of experience. We won't mess things up for sure. Mio Ru Yu, standing aside, keenly noticed the ambiguous expressions of the two. She slightly furrowed her brows and then suddenly chuckled. All right, then get ready to leave. We'll depart tomorrow morning. In the headquarters of the conglomerate, Dr. Hua approached Jai Chu and Ying. Dr. Hua, has the analysis report for Dr. Leng regarding the mutation aftermath been completed? Indeed, her mutated virus, can it ultimately aid our symbiosis plan? We obtained this mutated virus from human-faced spiders. Studying this mutation will directly absorb and synthesize the primitive zombie virus. We understand the characteristics of this new mutated virus enough, but it's similar to the primitive virus. It can only turn humans into zombies. It can't aid in achieving infection-free effectiveness. Jia Chun Ying had prepared himself mentally beforehand and said, Indeed, it's not ideal. But this time, I have good news to share with you. After understanding Dr. Lang's mutant virus, we discovered cells that can inhibit it. This is the medicine our research team has developed. Just a small amount can destroy the human face spider cells. If Dr. Lang happens to come this way again, 
We can use this to eliminate her. This is indeed a very important weapon. Can it be mass-produced? Not yet, temporarily, because the refinement process requires multiple stages. Apart from the test samples, we only have one vial left now, so this vial must be utilized effectively. Currently, Wangbo is the best choice to neutralize Dr. Lang. Somewhere in the wilderness, inside a cave, a large cocoon was wrapped in spider silk. Inside, a heartbeat could be heard. My obedient child, you must absorb your mother's nutrients. Only then can you grow strong. Ha ha ha. The next morning, Wang Bo's group prepared their belongings for the journey. Wang Bo commented, Zhang Sheng did well, finding two good pieces. Zhang Sheng felt like he was being teased. I only found these two, unlike you, who found such a fancy car. Xiao Yu's eyes sparkled as she looked at the white car. Wang Bo, can I drive later? No problem, she said. At this moment, Zhang Shen also ran over with his backpack and called out, Wang Bo. Hearing a girl calling Wang Bo so familiarly, Xiao Yu blinked and asked Wang Bo, Who is she? Wang Bo hurriedly explained, She's Zhang Sheng's sister. Mio Ru Yu chuckled, I thought she's your sweetheart, isn't she? It's embarrassing. My sister always insists on tagging along with me, I can't shake her off. So, Zhang Shen intervened, saying, Wang Bo, don't listen to him. She's here to train with us. She wants to become skilled like us, capable of defeating the zombie king alone. Wang Bo hesitantly forced a smile, but I'm afraid I won't be able to protect you when danger strikes. Xiaoyi retorted irritably, If you say so and still follow along, that's being shameless. Zhang Shen took Xiaoyu's hand warmly. You're Xiaoyu, right? Among the inventory team, they're all talking about your battle with the zombie king. You're an idol to the female members of our team. Show you savor the acknowledgement. Well, it's nothing really. I'm just here to protect everyone. Captain Zhao, let's ride together. Zhao Xiong nodded in agreement, while Wang Bo sensed a hint of conspiracy and hastily said, Mio Mio, won't you ride with me? Zhao Xiong, perhaps you should. No, I should let someone else have the car. I wouldn't want to sit with him either. Officer Mio, Let's go. Wang Bo simmered with resentment, whimpering. What did I do to deserve this from both of you? Woohoo. Dodge you began, Wang Bo, between you and me. Before he could finish his sentence, Wang Bo's voice rose sharply. No need. Not allowed. Don't want to. Dodge you looked puzzled. Wang Bo, why? I haven't done anything to him either. Dr. Ju appeared, carrying a backpack on his back, calling out, Wang Bo. Wang Bo eyed Dr. Zhu's robust figure and asked, Are you leaving already? I came because the leader has something to give you. Oh, what's this? It's the antidote we've developed, capable of killing Dr. Lang's mutant virus. Just a drop can kill a large human-faced spider. This is the only vial. Wow, there's some good stuff here too. Quickly give it to me, Dr. Zhu said. Wang Bo, excited, reached out his hand, but Dr. Zhu quickly withdrew his. Wang Bo frowned. Not like that, you wouldn't want me to hit you, would you? If you want me to hand it over, I have conditions. You take me along. Wang Bo gnashed his teeth. Everyone seems to think we're on vacation. Not happening. Take it, or leave it. Wait until Dr. Lang passes by again. I won't help anymore. Fine, if we can't negotiate, then consider I never came here. Wang Bo hastily pulled Dr. Zhu's shoulder. That's enough, 